There is some news this morning that Hab fans may not be too happy about. Uh, they may be paying more for season tickets next year. The hockey club is putting up uh, the cost by about 3%. That's more than the cost of inflation in this country, in Canada. Alan Mendelson is a Habs fan who runs a blog called fourhabsfans.com. He's on the line. Good morning, Alan. Good morning, Steve. How are you? I'm good. What do you think about this? Well, it's uh, it's not surprising, shall we say. Um, you know, it's a little disappointing considering how the, the season ended. I mean, I think that there's going to be a lot of Habs fans, you know, season ticket holders who are, you know, how could you raise the price on me considering how badly we ended last year and, and so forth. But at the same time, you know, this uh, it's a captive market. There's no way it's going to have any effect on how many season tickets are bought. And so it, it's really not surprising when you look at it from that standpoint. How do you think the fans are going to react, though? Well, I, I think they'll be angry in one sense. I mean, like I said, you just you don't want to do anything to anger your fan base when you've just had a, a season that, shall we say, ended miserably. Um, but at the same time, you know, they're have fans. There's nothing really going to deter them. And, you know, from a season ticket point of view, you know, I would probably say the majority of season tickets are, are corporate owned anyway. So, you know, I'm not really sure how much it's going to affect, you know, the average have fan. You know, when I was a kid, my dad had uh, season tickets and they didn't cost an arm and a leg. Now you've got to take a second mortgage on your house to get them. Do you have uh, season tickets? Uh, no, I don't have season tickets. I know plenty of people that do. I, I used to share uh, season tickets uh, with someone else last year. And, uh, yeah, certainly, I mean, it was expensive, although our season tickets were, were in the whites. They weren't in the reds, so, you know, it wasn't that bad. But, you know, it's it's the modern economics of sports. You want to, you know, pay have a 40 or $50 million payroll. You know, that's the, the way ticket prices yeah. go. And in this town, you're going to get uh, whatever it is, 21,273 fans at every game anyway. Every game is going to be sold out, probably no matter what the tickets cost. But you know what you said there? It's uh, interesting. Do you think more people will share? That's a good idea, I, though. You know, I, I think people will share. Um, it's like a well, timeshare in Florida. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I think it is a, a good way of reducing costs. You know, but like I said, uh, you know, the average Habs fan is not really buying season tickets anyway. The average Habs fan is maybe buying a mini season ticket package, or they're or they're going out for you know single season single game tickets right. when they can get them. So you know, I mean, the, it, it's not a three percent increase is not really going to change much. You know, considering how much a season ticket has cost for the last 10, 15, 20 years anyway. So you know, I, you know, I think the people who are buying the, the especially the you know the prime season tickets and the reds you know those people are you know a three percent increase is not going to affect them one way or the other and like i said most of those are corporate anyway and they're probably being you know written off as entertainment expenses or whatever i know a group in alberta that uh, could probably afford them that uh, won the lottery <laughs> this week do you, do you ever do you ever see a time when people are just going to get fed up and say no i you know that's it we're not going to do this we're not going to you know the only it's so i mean hockey is really just so ingrained around here, you know, I find that hard to believe. The only thing that, you know, would make that happen is a good long stretch, like five, seven, eight years of really bad play on the ice, of really bad management. You know, I, we saw that in the early days of the Bell Center, what was the Molson Center at the time, um, when the, the trombley Uhl era was pretty much putting a disastrous product on the ice, and there was you know, a lot of feeling that just management was terrible and it was reflecting on the ice. And back then, you could buy tickets, no problem. They weren't selling out every night. So, you know, a long stretch of bad play on the ice is probably the only thing. And when I say long stretch, you know, half the season isn't going to cut it. It really has got to be like a bunch of years before there's really any effect, in my opinion, on ticket buying. I long for the days when I was a kid and I paid two bucks to stand in the white section, you know? <laughs> two bucks and to see a what, Boston what Bruins game. Bobby Orr. <laughs> You know, so listen, Alan, thanks very much for this. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Alan Mendelson is a Habs fan who runs a blog called 4HabsFans.com.